For the surrealists, magic was ultimately a metaphor for change, for metamorphosis and transformation. And metamorphosis was also a key theme in the art of André Masson. Masson was one of the most important painters in the circle around André Breton in France already in the 1920s. In the 1930s, the idea of alchemical transformation and fusion was the key principle in his work. Here behind me, we have one of André Masson's most famous paintings, Ophelia, which is a loan from the Baltimore Museum of Art. The title, of course, alludes to the famous heroine from Shakespeare's play Hamlet, who tragically drowns in a brook, and we see here Ophelia's face slowly submerged underneath the surface of the water. The painting is full of tiny details, such as the wreath of flowers around Ophelia's head, a dragonfly that is playing a double flute, or the figure in the background here alluding to death. But in Masson's painting, Ophelia doesn't really die. The idea behind the composition is that the heroine is dying to be reborn as life around her reclaims her. And Keats's idea is the palette of the painting, which is dominated by this lively green shade, probably alluding to the alchemical process of the green prima materia, the prime matter that starts the process of endless purification, leading to rebirth. And actually, the shape of her face itself is mirrored again in the background in the shape of the billowing clouds. What Masson is here suggesting is that Ophelia is a kind of eternal goddess figure who is reborn after she dies, a key trope of alchemical thought.